Well, one person, though, who does not like professional wrestling. Who's that? Is the great Mike Francesa. Oh, yeah. yeah. New York radio legend. That was great. Let's uh, say goodbye to Leroy. Uh, all right, Leroy, we're going to let you go. Bye, first. Leroy. Uh, but uh, I want to play this clip where he talks about how his sons asked him to order WrestleMania, and it was like a sin, like oh. the worst thing that could happen. Wondering, I pondered this long into the night. Where oh, have I gone man. wrong? I pondered this. Where have I gone uh, wrong? <laughs> I thought I was Thomas a decent parent. Tell this guy he sounds like an idiot. <laughs> yeah. it, Is he your you uncle? Know? <laughs> I, I, you know, I tried to be a very attentive a father. It was very important to me. It was very you know, important. To, He's my kids give it up now. They're both pretty good players, and they love sports. Why in the world yesterday that they come to me? Such good English. Pause the at six o'clock. <laughs> Why in the world that yesterday, yesterday did that they came to me? <laughs> He's is a that a sentence? Broadcaster. Sounds Holy like fuck. everybody's sitting around my dinner table on <laughs> Christmas. Jay Thomas needs to yell at him yeah. like he's a fucking idiot. But Can do you see do us why favor? Jay did it? What? I'm just getting ready to, you know. I wouldn't have office. a problem if he talked like work. that, if he said sensible things, though. Yeah. yeah. Basically, what's happened, what happened to Nick Jonas when he fucked up the guitar solo is happening to Mike Francis. Yeah, but that was two seconds. This is like four hours a day he talks like this. He's Maybe he's having seizures. This yutz. What? I said, we can't go outside. It's, you know, the weather's not that great outside. He goes, no, no, no. no, no, no. Can you just do us a favor? What? Say it. Anyway, we say yes. I said, I'm not saying yes until I know what the question is. I used to say that to my parents all the time. Can we watch WrestleMania? I said, what? Mania. Can we watch? I said, no, you know, it's, I, said, I said, it's on late into the night. Well, it starts soon, Dad. It's it's on USA for an hour. Then you have to buy the pay-per-view. Can you buy us the pay, pay-per-view? What so asshole I figured, kids? all right, I got an out here. I said. They couldn't tell him, like, or just order the network, nine ninety nine. The pay-per-view is like $70. <laughs> How old are these kids? I don't think they're. Go ask yet. your mother, and if she says yes, go ask your mother. I'm figuring no way will she ever no say way. Yes. <laughs> Can we say it? Yes? Let her be the bad guy. So <laughs> their mother said yes. They come yeah. back, and Harrison's now doing flips like that He's got uh, a kid guy named like Harrison. Callisto. Uh-huh. Callisto. So he's dead. And <laughs> Harrison's you, really the you, instigator here. He just Jack, he Jack flips is like, like following Callisto. Harrison. Flips like oh, that uh, guy likes Callisto. <gasps> Callisto. I flip for Callisto. Yeah. <laughs> So he's dead. And Harrison's really the instigator here more than Jack. Jack is like following Harrison here. Jack, Why the older one, but he's not like into it the way Harrison and Harrison. Old men. It sounds like dog <laughs> names. Harrison Every and Jack. Guy, as they announced it, because I actually saw the open to make Swap. sure. The pay. So I had to go. Now I go to DirecTV and I can't buy it. And I'm like, wait a second. It's a pay-per-view. What do you mean I can't buy it? So then I have to call Monzo up, who's having a WrestleMania Who the fuck party is Monzo? at his house. Like he's Black Tie. Yeah. I would like to New point out Housewives? that Mike Francesa <laughs> is Mike Francesa is so lost. He literally has to call a friend uh-huh. <laughs> to figure out how to order uh, a fucking paper. Regis, I like to phone a friend. <laughs> He had he had to Manzo this explain is, this to him. <laughs> <laughs> Red carpet, the whole thing at his home. Okay, charging people to get in. But I listen. You know, you do what you have to do. You do what you but, gotta do. That is so condescending that he said that about his producer. Like, oh, he's poor. He has to charge people to watch uh, the baby. You do what you have to do. All the uh, money goes to me, so you know he makes minimum wage. Fuck that guy! Like uh, you're yeah. totally right. I didn't notice yeah. that the first. That is so such a condescending. Dick move. Such a dick move. I say, I text Mons. Mons, where can I buy this thing? Do Mons. So he finally tells me you can go. Do you have cable? I said, yeah, I have Directv and I have cable. So I said, oh, go to this channel. Oh, right. Not like Mons was like, yeah. So it's like, why does he need Mons? Charge He's people. watching it from a paper cup with strings. Uh, if he has Directv and cable, why couldn't he think? Oh, let me check if it's on cable. Like, oh, I didn't think of that. Because when you become his producer, it's uh, his whole life. It's, it's a life It's producer. not just on the yeah. show. Listen, hey, listen hey, kids. kids, I'm going to go see if it's on cable. Back after this. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and you can buy it. So I go to the channel. I love the breaths at every sentence. I don't know if it was fifty nine ninety nine or sixty nine ninety nine, something like that. I don't know. It was something like that. It was, you know, it was it was a good. Bu- <laughs>
<laughs> it was like, I don't know. It was, it was five hours of entertainment. It was just the nine ninety nine. I go back and like. <laughs> I make that in one commercial for Cialis. <laughs> He's so flustered here about the price. Like that. I don't know. It was something like that. It was, you know, it's, it was it was a good buck for the event. This is a schizophrenic but, on the bus. And it was going to start at 7 o'clock. He's talking to himself. This so. is audio from a bus. Yeah. This isn't even on the radio. <laughs> Yes. Sir, it's the last stop. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's a good price for the buck. My kid. Harrison. Sir, sir, you got to get off. He doesn't even have a test. We're going back to the storage yard. Uh, I had to call Mons and then, you know, Mons had helped me and help me. Again, help me how to do this. I don't know. So I said, listen, at 630, I'll go up. and I, Sir. The, the I got to take the bus back to the rooms, depot. They don't have any TV in the rooms, but they have a TV area where they can watch we need TV these when, seats for you know, a wheelchair uh, person sir uh, you know I, I mean it wasn't my, my kid, I asked my wife you know she was like uh, she said yes so what do I know uh, I, I, uh, I just peed myself god damn it I, I get Mons to change my pants here oh my god Mons Mons you gotta help me I soiled myself Mons oh my god room so um, going. I said, I'll put it on your TV upstairs in your area. So in your go, area, yeah. I'll put it in your area. <laughs> the whole area, area. That's room, that's the they, area. They, they sleep and, in a closet. Yeah. These kids, They're like a veal, it keeps them locked up in a box. <laughs> Six thirty, I go what, to buy. Are they, honey, are they ten yet? Uh, no, back in the box. I told my kids, you win afternoon drive ten years in a row, then you get a bedroom. Until then, you're in the closet. I you slept, and Michael K. I slept on a rock, listening to radio, listening to Mickey Mantle at home runs. Yeah, you don't understand. Oh kids, kids today, get back in the box. <laughs> so I got up. And I buy it. And who comes up? This Scott Sta- Sanford. Scott, uh, the guy who's a local. Well, Scott guy. Stanford. Is that his name? Yeah, the guy who's the local uh, it's Scott sportscaster. Stanford. He's like the host to the preview. He hosts the Again, pre-show. being condescending. Can you believe this guy's lowering himself to be the yeah. preview host? I thought it was like, you believe WrestleMania has this fucking guy? If I got the WPAX guy on there, what the fuck is it? It must be a shitty show, man. $60 I'm paying for this. For Scott <laughs> Stanford, I'm paying? For this. Back? Who's hosting the National Anthem? Kairi Tong? What, the, what is this? Are you kidding me? Suki, is she going to be on there? Got Greg Maka? Greg Maka in there doing a broadcast. <laughs> They're going to cut the Mr. G. <laughs> Mr. G. Ernie Ernesto. <laughs> oh. Sam Champion over there. Yeah, Marcus Sue Simmons, come on. Yeah, he's national now. <laughs> oh, wow. That's all right. <laughs> Who's doing audio for? Kane? Is he going to be on this? Kane Roberts? <laughs> <laughs> Jose Mangan? Pepe Godlo? Any of these guys? You kidding me? WrestleMania? Fuck out of here. And give like a hand. So I said, listen. <laughs> You can watch this. I'll come back at 7 and make sure the pay-per-view starts. Because sometimes pay-per-views are a little weird. They don't start or anything. Yeah, because you don't know how to order it. Because I was on the wrong channel. I was on Logo. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like I told Cole Mons. I said, what's Logo? I'm more picturing him like the TV's off. And he's trying to. He's like, yeah. this pay-per-view won't start. It won't start. It's screen. What so is Scott Stanford was just in my living room. Production value is there. horrible. <laughs> We're not TV, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just got Stanford sitting there. You know what I'm saying? I come back at seven o'clock, and there it comes. And I'm like, I'm watching the national anthem. You would have thought this was the Super Bowl. I watched these anthem. five women come out in these big, long, flowing dresses to do the national anthem. Dresses. You're in You're Jerry's in. building down there. It's completely full with announcers from every country in the world in tuxedos. I feel like I'm watching either a heavyweight championship in the world or I'm watching a Super Bowl here. <laughs> Meanwhile, heavyweight championship of the world hasn't been on this scale for at least no. 15 years. He's stuck at in least. 1961. Yeah. That's the problem. Oh, in every language? I'm saying, this. what is going on here? Every language? It's been pretty much at this level started. for, what, 30 years? Yeah, and well, he's yeah. just discovering <laughs> yeah. that WrestleMania is Well, he just learned people? how to work his cable yeah, box. Yeah, that's right. WrestleMania 3 is probably the first time yeah. that it was like this. The right? Pontiac Silverdome? And that's the record they broke, by the way. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. uh, from 3 to 32. Yeah. Wow. And then I see it all started. 20, and I'm like... 
So I know nothing of the themes. Okay, I, obviously I know Vince McMahon. I mean, I, I know, I mean, I've, oh, I've known him a long time. I thought we don't hang out together. But we I don't hang him. out together. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not like it's me and Mons or anything. I don't call Vince. Up. <laughs> I, I would text him, ask about one of my pay per view. Uh, I should have done that. Now that I think about it, I should have <laughs> oh called Vince. God. You know what I'm saying? Calling a favor. Hey, you give me a favor. You're seventy dollars. Why I want the money? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, I mean, he's been in the studio a couple of times. We've been at different charity things. Oh, wait a, a minute. Time, so Vince I McMahon was on WFAN. I, uh, we got to look. Maybe he just did that. like a tour. You Get probably didn't do an interview. Just like walked through. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> Maybe he's thinking of Jim McMahon, the former Bears quarterback. <laughs> Is that possible? <laughs> Hey, hey, Vince, he came in, had his head bent on. You the know? quarterback, man, he's doing well. He owns WWE now. Oh, no. Hey, so many guy. languages. So many languages. <laughs> Tuxedos. I didn't, even know he, I didn't know his son was involved, to be honest with you. I didn't know anything about that. Harrison told me the whole story. And then Thank they God come Harrison. out this long runway. Can you imagine this little, like, nip- like half littered fucking half literate kid explaining this to nine year old. <laughs> A nine year old Mike Francesa. Oh. Dad, you know, they got fucking guys with the tuxedo, you know? Shane <laughs> <laughs> McMahon, he's always angry at his father, and he's going to take over the WWE. We win some match, got to be Honestly, <laughs> not that different from having a conversation with Chris Russo. He's used to <laughs> You know, Mikey, Mikey, Shane McMahon, he's a grown man, and he's fighting the other thing. I'm like, it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> You can't, you can't be doing this. It's a joke. Oh, I love him so much. I like him better than Mike Francesa. I say that. Oh. The, the first match was some ladder thing where there was seven some guys ladder on the ladder, thing. including Harrison's favorite guy, Callisto. Is it Callisto? Is that, that was his partner, Sin Cara. Sin Cara. The other guy Sin Cara. Listen, the you know, you hear this guy talk, you're lucky but, he's in the ballpark. Was that Monzo <laughs> that jumped in right there? It was Monzo. <laughs> I just... I just <laughs> I just love this thing. Cara. So Cara. Oh, Calisto. Cara. Cara. No Cara. Cara. I hope people Cara. don't do this to our show. Uh, announced the, <laughs> really the first match was some ladder thing with ladder. seven guys on a ladder, including Harrison's favorite guy, Callisto. Is it Callisto? Is oh, that no, his partner, Sin Cara. Uh, Sin Cara. The other guy Sin with the mask. Cara. So Sin Cara. So he's Cara. A, so Sin Cara. As each guy gets ready to run out, Harrison knows who he is. My nine-year-old. <laughs> Go figure. Oh, my kid knows things. Holy it's crazy. shit. Wow. He remembered something. He follows the I've been spot. keeping him it's, in a cage this whole time. I don't like, know how well, he learned it. <laughs> you believe it? I, put, I, I bring this guy to me fucking Derek Jeter. He wants to talk about Galizno. I understand. He does nothing but shit in a bucket all day long. Uh, I, I don't know uh, where he gets it from. I don't know. There was TV in that view locker. <laughs> Who put that TV in there? How did he get that TV out of there? And he's got cables. He's got the direct TV. He's watching the pay-per-views. How do I how did this happen? <laughs> Has he noticed? <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. It's blah, blah, blah. It's, the, you know. Hey, who knew there was a wrestler named blah, blah, blah? <laughs> <laughs> what a weird name. You know what I mean? I think my son might be with this dick, actually. <laughs> You're saying blah, blah, blah the whole show. I couldn't have named one of these people. In a hundred years. After I knew the names, I, I started remember. to watch the ladder thing, which I lasted about two minutes until I started hitting each other with the ladders, and it's I ladder left. Match. And this guy looked like. Like, uh, remember the guy like on Batman when you were a kid or when we were kids and there was With a guy who, who what we he's like, we the 90 year olds in his audience but like uh, his, his producers are like our age yeah he's talking to the geezers in his audience yeah. about to see uh, what a Riddler outfit <laughs> Frank Gorshin what a Riddler what yeah, a Riddler outfit yeah timely reference like Frank Gorshin there's like a black outfit Stardust Stardust, Stardust. yeah he's got, he looks like the Riddler in Batman he looks like, like, he's like the Riddler wrote on Facebook I said this is the first time that uh, Cody Rhodes has been compared to Frank Gorshin <laughs> yes yes <laughs> so I've heard Pat this is the first time anyone's been compared to Frank Gorshin in 40 years <laughs> Frank Gorshin there's a timely reference right there you know he's out in there and there's one. A bunch of, you know, different kind of characters in there. Characters. And they obviously had to go to bed. So he went to school this morning, not knowing. They watched it till like a quarter to nine. Then they had to go to bed. So they but saw nothing. He, they taped it. Poor they kid. Saw, and he's like, they saw 45 minutes of the show, basically. Yeah. Or no, no, an hour, 45 minutes. And then they had to go and avoid spoilers from their shitty friends at yeah, their private school. that's tough. That's tough. I have to go to school and make sure none of my friends tell me what happened Aww. so that I can come home after I do my homework and watch the big events. That in there too. So I, I, I have no idea who won the big events, nor do I care. But oh, thank you for clarifying. I'm just You're so completely crestfallen all. that my crestfallen. kids last night were upstairs screaming their heads off. So he doesn't care about were. something that his kids enjoyed? 
an it, asshole. Not only he that, wants them he's to enjoy uh, he's harness shit racing. Talking yeah, in his he's video dumbfounded show. at how much his kids enjoy professional wrestling. And I want to point out, there's a if uh, the last time uh this was on deadspin uh mike francesa talked about wrestling he said i mean uh i'm not gonna lie you know i watched it when i was well you know back when it was like antonio rocca yeah, yeah, antonio which is rocca. like 1908 you know like the <laughs> oldest fucking rock. Call no. God, chase to watch him. he was really good lutez back when it meant something you know <laughs> like what it was real it's sorry no it's not real <laughs> It's choreographed. <laughs> it's, fake. it's real to me. To hear more, find the Metal Injection livecast on iTunes, or you can go to metalinjection.net slash livecast.